Remember those early AI days, you know, like when everyone was all about generating pictures of cats wearing hats? Oh, yeah. The good old days. Hold on to your hats because things have changed. Yeah. AI just took this massive leap forward. It's going to change everything. It really is amazing to see how fast AI is evolving. You know, we're moving way beyond those early kind of novelty applications. And it's getting into a place where AI can actually augment human capabilities, like in some really profound ways. Absolutely. And that's why we're doing a deep dive today on some really exciting news from Anthropic. Okay. A company that's making waves in the AI world. You've probably heard of them. They just announced some major updates to their AI model, Claude. Right. And one of these updates, well, it's so groundbreaking, it's going to be hard to wrap our heads around. Yeah, it is a game changer, that's for sure. Right. Anthropic is really tackling one of the biggest challenges in AI right now, which is bridging that gap between data and action. Okay, so let's break this down. Anthropic has released Claude 3.5, which comes in two versions. Sonnet and Haiku, what's the difference? Well, think of Sonnet as the powerhouse, you know? Yeah. It's designed for those really complex tasks, and it's shown just incredible improvements in coding. Like, it's even outperforming AI that was specifically designed just for that purpose. So wait, not only can AI write code now, but it can actually write better code than, like, specialized programs designed for that. Yeah. It's really impressive. That's pretty wild. It is. And on the other end of the spectrum, we've got Haiku. Okay. Now, this version, it's all about speed and efficiency. So it's perfect for those quick tasks and those user-facing applications where you need results fast. Now, what's crazy is that even though Haiku is smaller and it's faster, it can still handle a lot of the same tasks as Anthropic's previous larger models. Exactly. So that shows you how much progress they're making in AI development. It's really incredible. Yeah, they're really pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And they're doing it with a focus on accessibility, too. You know, making these really powerful tools available for a wider range of applications. Right. And we're already seeing companies like Asana, Canva, and Replit incorporating these new Claude models into their workflows. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Replit is using Sonnet to evaluate apps as developers are building them. Wow. Which provides, like, real-time feedback and streamlines the entire development process. Imagine, like, being able to get instant feedback on your code as you're writing it. That would be incredible. That's the kind of real-world impact these advancements are having. Yeah. And GitLab is also seeing impressive results with Sonnet. They're finding that it significantly boosted their reasoning capabilities for DevSecOps tasks. I mean, it's clear that these new Claude models are making a tangible difference. The fact that they've got improved performance, speed, and cost-effectiveness, it's really driving action across a ton of different industries. But... The really big news here, the one that has everyone buzzing, is Anthropic's announcement about Claude 3.5 saw its ability to actually use computers. Yeah, this is where things start to feel a bit like we're living in a science fiction movie. Right. It's right. pretty wild. It does, doesn't it? We're not just talking about AI processing data. We're talking about AI interacting with interfaces, you know, like moving a cursor, clicking buttons, typing text, all the things that we do when we use computers. So it's like AI has stepped out of the digital realm and into the physical world, at least virtually. Exactly. So, I mean, what kind of possibilities does this actually open up? I mean, the potential is just vast. Imagine, like, AI handling complex tasks, things like booking your travel arrangements, managing finances, or even conducting scientific research and doing it all through seamless interaction with digital tools. So it's like having this super efficient digital assistant that can actually get things done instead of just, you know, telling you the weather or something like that. Exactly. And this is just the beginning, you know? As this technology evolves, I think we can expect to see AI handling even more complex and sophisticated tasks. And that's going to free up a lot of human time and energy for, you know, things that are more creative and fulfilling. Now, I know this all sounds really incredible, and it truly is. But it's important to acknowledge that this technology is still in its early stages. Mm. And Anthropic's very transparent about the fact that computer use for AI is in beta, and, you know, it has some limitations. Oh, for sure. Which is to be expected. Of course. That's to be expected with any kind of groundbreaking technology, right? The important thing is that Anthropic is actively working on improvements. And they're encouraging developers to experiment and provide feedback. And that's what's going to lead to those really rapid advancements in the field. Right. So it's all about progress, not perfection at this point. But, you know, just imagine what the future holds as this technology matures. Yeah. The possibilities are truly mind-blowing. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. And it's a really remarkable step forward. And, you know, one of the most exciting things about Anthropic's approach is their commitment to open development. Okay. They're making these tools accessible to developers and basically fostering this collaborative ecosystem where everyone can contribute to shaping the future of AI. So it's not just about anthropic building these amazing things yeah. it's about them empowering others to build amazing things with these tools exactly which is a really cool idea yeah it's a real testament to their belief in the positive potential of ai they're not just focused on the technology itself they're thinking about how this technology can be used to benefit society as a whole i mean it's refreshing to see that kind of forward-thinking approach especially in a field that's moving as fast as ai but let's dive a little deeper into the potential benefits like what are some concrete ways that ai using computers could improve our lives 
Well, think about all those tasks you do on your computer every single day that are just super repetitive and time consuming, or honestly, just plain tedious. Yeah, yeah. Things like data entry or scheduling appointments, sorting through emails, or even just researching information. Those are all things that AI could potentially handle for us. It's like having a tireless digital assistant who never gets bored and never makes mistakes. I can definitely see the appeal there. Right, exactly. And it goes beyond just personal productivity too. Think about the impact on industries like healthcare, finance, and manufacturing. Yeah. AI could be analyzing vast amounts of data, identifying patterns, making recommendations that would improve efficiency, reduce costs, even save lives. It's like giving every industry a turbo boost, allowing yeah. them to operate at a level that we just couldn't imagine before. Exactly. And like you mentioned before, this is just the tip of the iceberg. As this technology keeps evolving, the possibilities are pretty much limitless. Yeah, they really do. I mean, we could see AI playing a major role in scientific discovery, you know, developing new technologies, or even creating personalized learning experiences that are tailored to individual needs. It's like unlocking this whole new realm of human potential by letting AI handle the tasks that are best suited for machines. Then that frees us up to focus on the things that make us uniquely human, mm -hmm. like creativity and innovation and empathy. That's a beautiful way to put it. Yeah. It's not about AI replacing humans. It's about AI augmenting our abilities and expanding our horizon. I love that. Now, I know we're painting a pretty optimistic picture here, and there's definitely good reason to be excited about the potential of AI. But we also have to acknowledge that there are some challenges and concerns as this technology continues to advance. Oh, absolutely. I mean, any powerful tool can be used for good or for bad, and AI is definitely no exception. And one of the biggest concerns is the potential for job displacement. Right. As AI becomes more capable of doing tasks that humans currently do, there's a worry that jobs will be lost. Right. It's a valid concern, and it's something we need to be super mindful of as we navigate this new landscape. Yeah. But I also believe that with every technological advancement, new opportunities come up. Mm -hmm. So it's about adapting, evolving, and finding ways to leverage these tools to create a more prosperous and equitable future for everyone. I agree. And it's not just about jobs, right? There's also concerns about privacy, security, and the potential for misuse. AI that can interact with computers could be used for, you know, malicious purposes, like spreading misinformation, launching cyber attacks, even manipulating financial markets. Those are some serious risks that we definitely can't ignore. Yeah. But just as we've developed laws and regulations and ethical guidelines to govern other powerful technologies, we can do the same for AI, right? Exactly. And companies like Anthropic are already taking these proactive steps to address these concerns. Okay. They're building safeguards into their systems, developing tools to detect and prevent misuse, and engaging with ethicists and policymakers to ensure responsible development and deployment. That's great. It's encouraging to see that commitment to those ethical considerations. You know, it, it's a reminder that AI isn't just about the code and the algorithms, it's about people and how this technology impacts our lives. Absolutely, and it brings us back to this whole idea of computer use, right? It's not just this cool technological feat, it's a fundamental shift in how we interact with AI. Okay. We're going from giving AI instructions to actually giving it goals and letting it figure out how to achieve those goals using the tools it has available. So it's almost like we're teaching AI to think for itself. Exactly. To become more autonomous and capable of solving those complex problems mm -hmm. without us having to constantly intervene. That's right. And that's both exciting and a little bit daunting, you know? We need to be thoughtful and intentional about how we design and deploy these systems. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that they're aligning with our values and serving humanity's best interests. So it's a balancing act. It is. We need to embrace the incredible potential of AI mm -hmm. while also being mindful of the risks and taking those steps to mitigate them. Mm -hmm. It's a complex challenge, but I think we can do it. I agree. And I think it's important to remember that AI isn't this separate entity that's going to, you know, take over the world or something. Right. AI is a tool. It's a powerful tool. But ultimately, it's up to us humans to guide its development and use it for good. It's a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. And it's going to require input from experts across all sorts of different fields. Yeah. As well as open and honest dialogue about the ethical implications of this technology. Yeah. We need to be having these conversations now, while the technology is still relatively young, to make sure that we create a future where AI empowers us, not controls us. A future where it helps us solve the world's biggest challenges and create a more just and equitable society for all. You know, it's exciting to think about all the positive ways AI can shape the world. Yeah. We've talked about how it can you know, streamline tasks and boost productivity, even revolutionize entire industries. But what about just the everyday person? How will these advancements in AI actually impact our daily lives? like in a tangible way? Well, I mean, we're already seeing the early signs of AI being integrated into our daily routines, right? Like think about the personalized recommendations that you get on streaming services or those spam filters that keep your inbox clean or even like the navigation apps that help you get through traffic. All those are powered by AI working behind the scenes to make our lives a little bit easier and more efficient. It's like AI is becoming this invisible helper, like anticipating our needs and seamlessly integrating itself into our digital experiences. Exactly. And with this new ability to actually use computers, AI can become even more proactive and even more helpful. Imagine, like, an AI assistant that could not only manage your calendar, but also, you know, pick your travel, make dinner reservations, even help you shop for the best deals online. 
So we're moving towards a world where we can just delegate all those mundane, everyday tasks to AI. Yeah. And that frees up our time and energy to focus on the things that we actually enjoy. That's the vision. And it's closer than we think, you know? As this technology continues to advance, we can expect AI to become even more personalized and intuitive, just like adapting to our individual preferences and, you know, seamlessly integrating into our lives. Yeah, it's really exciting to think about all, all the possibilities. But I also want to touch on something that we discussed earlier, which is the potential downsides of AI, mm. particularly the risk of job displacement. I feel like that's a topic that sparks a lot of concern and debate. Yeah, it's understandable that people would be concerned, right? Change can be unsettling, especially when it comes to something as potentially transformative as AI. But I think it's important to approach this topic with a balanced perspective. Throughout history, technological advancements have always kind of led to shifts in the job market. Right. Some jobs become obsolete, but new ones emerge in their place. So it's a process of adaptation and evolution. And I think it really requires us to be proactive in preparing for those changes. Exactly. We need to invest in education and retraining programs to equip people with the skills they need to thrive in this evolving landscape. And, you know, we need to foster innovation and entrepreneurship and create new industries and opportunities that really leverage the power of AI. So it's not just about mitigating those negative impacts. It's about embracing the potential of AI to create a more prosperous and fulfilling future for everyone. I couldn't agree more. I really think AI has the power to transform our world in some really profound ways. But it's ultimately up to us to make sure those transformations are positive and beneficial for all of humanity. So bringing it back to Anthropic and their groundbreaking announcements, what makes their approach to AI development stand out from the crowd? Well, one of the things that I think really sets Anthropic apart is their commitment to safety and those ethical considerations. They're not just focused on building the most powerful AI. They're also thinking really deeply about the potential risks and taking steps to mitigate them. Yeah, like we talked about, those classifiers they're developing to identify misuse and the tools they're building that actually allow developers to set limits on what AI can do. Those are really tangible examples of their commitment to responsible development. They are. And it goes beyond just the technical safeguards. Anthropic is actively engaging with ethicists, policymakers, and other stakeholders to develop guidelines and best practices for using AI responsibly. So they understand that this isn't just a technological issue, it's a societal one that really needs a collaborative approach. I think it's really refreshing to see a company that's not just chasing profits, but also genuinely concerned about the societal impact of their technology. It really is. And I think it's something that should be applauded and encouraged. We need more companies like Anthropic out there, you know, companies that are willing to lead the way in responsible AI development. So as we wrap up this deep dive, what's the one key takeaway you want our listeners to remember about Anthropic and the future of AI? I think the biggest takeaway is that the future of AI isn't predetermined. It's something that we're actively shaping with our choices, our actions, and our conversations. And Anthropic is demonstrating that AI can be developed responsibly with a focus on safety, ethics, and the betterment of humanity. So it's up to all of us to continue this conversation, to ask those tough questions, and to demand that AI is used for good. That's a powerful message, and I hope it resonates with our listeners. The future of AI is really in our hands, so let's make sure we create a future that we can all be proud of. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the exciting world of AI. Until next time, stay curious, stay engaged, and stay hopeful about the incredible possibilities that lie ahead.